I've just gone through um, the, the aspects of treating spiders uh, and the fact that you need to get chemical on directly onto the spider for it to work. Now I'd like to, to mention sizzling here. Uh, you can see possibly by my age uh, versus the age of my colleague here, Jeff, uh, that I've been around a little bit longer. Um, I was around when this product was launched quite a few years back. I won't, won't mention when, uh, but I always liked sizzling. Uh, a lot of pe customers, customers do, a lot of pest controllers do, and some of them wouldn't change for anything. Uh, they don't, they're not interested in new active, they're not interested in, in anything other than what works for them, and um, that's, that's fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm a sizzling user. Um, Jeff, now you, you're, um, we've got a new active here called Temperate 75. Mm -hmm. um, has Temperate um, got a better residual value than sizzling? Yeah, it certainly does, Nev. I mean, that's the reason we bought this product out. Um, it, it's, um, it's got enhanced knockdown, uh, and it's also got uh, significantly better residual than uh, many products out there on the market. It's got better residual, we've shown, than, uh, than uh, Sizzlin, but uh, more, more in particular, uh, it's got better residual than Bifenthrin. And uh, so it's a, an option, a new option, um, that someone might want to consider if they're looking for a, a new product to use. Just another question for you, Jeff, the cost benefit. Uh, is there a cost benefit to using Temperate versus Sizzlin? Yeah, look, extremely competitive. Um, it's uh, when you weigh up the fact that you know, this product can do all the, the major pests, um, ants, cockroaches, fleas and spiders. Um, and for the price, um, approximately you know, 50 cents out of the gun, that's extremely competitive um, for something that has such great performance, knockdown and residual. The other product in, the, uh, in our arsenal for spider control, Coupex Dust. Wonderful product for use in voids, particularly sealing voids. Um, it's um, been around for quite a while, and um, I'll ask Nev, um, you know, is there anything we need to consider when we use this product in a void situation? Yes, Jeff, there's a couple of very important ones. One is uh, in, in your dust into a ceiling void. Uh, there's down lights. A lot of the modern homes now have a down light. Mm -hmm. There's a gap there. Uh, there's air conditioning ducting. Uh, there's vents. So you just got to make a decision before you start turning your nozzle on into a ceiling that you know where your dust is going to end up. Very important. Are there any preventative measures we can take if we still want to put yeah, that application yes, in Yes, you, you, can, you, can, you can tape them, you can tape over the vents um, very successfully. Turn the exhaust fans on. Turn exhaust fans on yep. or off when you treat it and on when you, when you finish. Yep. So yes, but just be aware of it. Yep. It's an excellent product for in the ceiling void though. Excellent.